Look around you sometime when you're in a crowd. Look around at the people around you. So many of those people are carrying a burden. And here is one of the biggest burdens in life that hopefully, spiritually, you'll learn to take care of. And that is the power of release or not releasing. Most people hold on to bad things and they never let go. Even the word forgiveness in the original root sense means release, to let it go. And it's not in something the other person does, it's releasing the poison from inside of you. So right now, as we enter a new month, let's develop this spiritual power of release. Let's decide we're not going to hold on any longer to that that can hurt us emotionally or, or physically. We're going to release. We let go of anxiety and we release all to God. This July, I pray that you will not be bound by negation. I pray that you're not limited by what seems to be. I pray that you're free and free to reject the negative and accept the positive, to, to grab on and hold on to the good and the joyous in life, but to release that that is not as joyous like anxiety. You release all things to God. And it is literally like a spiritual dialysis. Purified life comes back in you, through you. You release fear and you replace it with love and with faith. You release anger and you release resentment and you release feelings of guilt. There's a big one. I talk with people all the time that have these hidden feelings of guilt. Many have carried those feelings of guilt for a lifetime. It's time to release. You decide in the month of July that you do not bind yourself to any unloving, tension-producing emotion. And my friend, you may be watching this much later than July. Whatever the time is that you're watching it, it is a divine appointment for you to do this, to trust God's power and love and care. Have faith in yourself as a child of God. You release your problems, and thus opening the way for their solution. If you're holding on to your problem so much, and we hold on to it more in consciousness than we do with our hands, we tend to reproduce it, to, to cause it to become bigger and bigger and bigger, like a stone rolling down a hill and gathering strength and, and dirt and becoming a boulder. We release any thought of this we release any thought of criticism of others by blessing them and knowing that they must work out their problems in their own way. It's not up to us. We release. We release all things to God, and that gives you a tremendous freedom. It allows you to think anew. It allows you to think positively and to feel positive inside of yourself. It allows for clear understanding instead of clouded understanding. It allows for joyous living and for the constant inflow of God's good instead of blocking that in our free will and not allowing it to come through. I pray that this is a month of spiritual power in you, the power of release.